I've wanted to travel to Alaska since I was a young boy. The remote rivers, the vast wilderness, the monster Alaskan Yukon moose that filled them, it was the only hunt I would ever dream about. I knew at an early age that the pursuit of a bull moose enticed me. But back then, I didn't fully understand why. I started planning a trip via Super Cub that would take me to the remote wilderness of Alaska. Not only did I want to pursue a trophy bull moose with my bow and arrow, but I wanted to experience the adventure that Alaska had to offer too. This is the story of that adventure. Talk about a whirlwind. Four days ago, we crash landed in the swamp. And now a huge change of plans. I'm heading out solo on a 75 mile float hunting trip. I have a bow, pistol, and two weeks to find success. My plan for this trip is to spend a lot of time glassing calling and rafting to new locations. This is a really good area. I know there are a lot of big bulls and the key is being patient because I do not want to settle for anything less than Swamp Donkey. It's the first day out in the field. You have to love it when it rains for four hours straight, your first day of hunting. Oh. Oh. making just some some blind calls in areas that I think look good and the bulls are in the rut right now so if I so a couple times now I've heard a bull kind of respond to my call and as soon as I hear that I just pull the raft over There is an absolute toad up there. I'm talking monster. I, I can just barely make it out in the in the uh, phone scope, but I, I'm not kidding. He's got to have 15 points on his left antler. The problem is he's in like almost an impossible spot to get to. Make no doubt about it. He's a stud. Saw a couple of really nice bulls today, but. They were just in places that it would be almost impossible to get to with a bow and arrow. Hopefully tomorrow uh, we can locate one and put this slip on him. Oh yeah, it looks decent. He might be a shooter. It's a big bull. Dang. Started moving or 
he just bedded right down. So I can get there quick so I can still call him in. If he's over 60, I think he's gonna have an arrow going his way. Just kind of been down hanging out every time I do a grunt or rake rake the antlers I mean his head snaps up so he's, he's definitely defend on the defensive but it's a really really nice looking bull um, Cal just it's gonna be tough to get this all to come together but with the camera but I'm gonna try so we'll see He is a toad. Look at these stinking brow tines. One, two, three, four, five, six brow tines on the left side. It's about 65 inches wide, and no matter who you talk to in Alaska, that is a trophy moose. Uh, so I'm pretty stoked to have shot it, and I'm sure you can see in the background, but the river's literally about five feet away from me, and so you can't ask for much more than that in terms of a pack out. The trip doesn't end when you pull the trigger. Their sheer size makes it difficult. The pack out is an art. Creativity, logistics, mental grit, all of those are your friend.
This part is often the most rewarding. A time to reflect on how blessed we truly are. A time to complete the dream that we once had. And a chance to dream about the trip we will take next. Thank you.